was a tragic weekend across the country. Investigations are underway in Kentucky and Alabama right now after mass shootings unfolded in both states. In Dadeville, Alabama, four people were killed last night linked to a shooting at a Sweet 16 birthday party. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Tori Cooper. At least 28 people were also hurt in the shooting. So far, police have not announced any arrest or a suspect. Atlanta News First reporter Asia Wilson reports from Alabama. I can tell you standing in the heart of where this happened, you can feel the heaviness in the air. We saw one victim in a hospital robe. We saw people crying on the ground. In fact, one pastor said this is a 9-11 moment for this small community. They're going to have challenges in trying to deal with students. Crowd of first responders, pastors, students, Lord, and community members event. all hurting to the core tomorrow. at a prayer vigil Sunday night. We can trust your heart, it's right. <laughs> and we do so in these moments. This community of a little over 3,000 people mourning following a shooting that erupted at a teen party late Saturday. Four people died and more than two dozen injured. I knew many of these other kids uh, just from being at the schools all the time. Host Pastor Ben Hayes is a chaplain for the Dadeville High School football team and city police department. With several of our police officers uh, last night and today who had been in Afghanistan, Iraq, um, Syria, uh, they said that they had seen images like this there, but never here. There's no way to prepare for that. Coach Russell is overcome with emotions as he sees many of the victims every day at school. Close to the students and uh, being the track, one of the track coaches on the team, you know, um, uh, I'm just lost for words, y'all. One of his players was killed in the crossfire. Bill Dadell, um, great student, uh, great student athlete. He's so goal oriented, always had a smile on his face. Um, just willing to help anybody. The victim's best friend also uttering the same words. I was my best friend for 18 years, and we had a lot of ups and downs, but we always you know, came back to each other, and we loved each other. And I just hate that it had to happen to him like that. And while there were multiple families grieving, leaning on each other as support, for the days ahead. Pastor Hayes says their church will be here to support many of the families impacted by this horrific tragedy. But from what we saw here today, I can tell you that this community could use a lot of your thoughts and prayers from afar. In Dadeville, Alabama, Asia Wilson, Atlanta News First.